I, regardless of anyone recommended or not, was going to watch this. Inferno Plus, how the fuck is he not at a million yet? Let's fix this. He cursed Halo again. How how do you curse the cursed? How do we get cursed squared? All answers I have, Inferno, please, with your absolute legendary just modding ability, tell me the things. Please. I beg of you! <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to this video content. Today I, I I got I got so you're wonder I hope you're or I got uh what what's the meme I, I hope uh you're probably wondering how I got here that one I got the, that vibes. <laughs> to introduce you to my two best friends, Test underscore Grunt two. What? And my really big pistol. Big. <laughs> Kiwi, I want it. Big pistol. I want it. <laughs> big big num. Guys, we got the new SWAT nums. That's what the next format's gonna be. Oh. So yeah, this is Cursed Halo. Again. I love you. I really wasn't planning on doing another update for Cursed Halo, but I couldn't help myself. Did Halo really need grunts that throw splash potions of blindness? At yes! Me? Probably not. Or definitely not. I love it. But that is a thing now. And so if your screen turns black while you're playing this mod, don't panic. You're just blind. Wait, uh... How does Inferno continue to get more and more based? And speaking of things that might make you go blind, yeah. <laughs> too, what? I mean, what? 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 And it actually have, like, on-screen presence. <laughs> then you can't complain about this. I love it's it. literally the same thing. I've needed it. What you can complain about, though, is the fact that the automatic 360 no-scope sniper rifle oh! is unfortunately very bugged. Oh. And I had to remove it from the mod. Fair. Please send your complaints to Keemstar at Red Letter Media. <laughs> All right, so enough <laughs> random tangents. I should probably explain what this video is actually RBG about. RBG Grunts? A few months ago, Halo the Mustard Beef Connection yes. finally got Steam Workshops. Wait. <laughs> okay, that's clever, though. <laughs> Can I have this as my screen and not get banned, or do I have to be playing modded mode? Because damn it, this is based! And it's pretty great. 343 has finally made it so you don't need a degree in computer science just to install a mod. Yeah. It's quite literally just one click and Hug. you're done. So I've been porting over a few of my old mods to the Steam Workshop so people can play them easier. And of course, when I got to Cursed Halo, I was distracted. And by distracted, yeah. I, I mean I, I doubled the amount of content in the mod. Amazing. Or tripled it. Something along those lines. I mean, check it out. Black hole. 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 Chat. That is not the square hole. <laughs> so yeah, I, I still plan on doing a Cursed Halo 2 or 3 or whatever, but I just got carried away adding a shitload of fuck to this mod. Honestly, Inferno, take your fucking time. I assure you will be here. Uh, most notably, new cutscenes. And boyo, there is a reason most mods don't have custom cutscenes. Right. The amount of is work that I put into just adding a couple of new scenes to this game is mind-blowing. But it was very necessary for the new content I wanted to do for the campaign. I just want to know how he's done this. I, I, I can't believe... I, like, I want to be like, I can't believe you've done this. But I love that he's done this. Which is completely lore-friendly suit upgrades. Amazing. Hey, Chief, over here. Hi, Johnson. How you doing? The boys down at R&D asked me to give this to you, Ace. Some kind of upgrade to your suit. Me to give you some kind of crazy-ass Bruce Lee powers, if you can believe it. Bruce Lee powers?! The first upgrade you get is a karate module. No! You do what? And jump kicks. We have friendly. We have become the 80s action movie we've always wanted. There's nothing in the lore that says he can't do that. He he can do that. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Yeah. The second upgrade is of course flex tape. Or pistols duct taped to your <laughs> legs, which allows you to double jump. <laughs> Listen, the science is there. Look. The I science is there. The comic about is it possible to build a jetpack using downward firing machine guns? I was so surprised to find the answer was yes, but to really do it right, you'll want to talk to the Russians. What? 
The principle here is pretty simple. You fire a bullet forward, the recoil pushes back. So you fire it down where the recoil pushes it up. Technically, yes. Uh, the first question we have to answer is, can a gun even lift its own weight? Technically, it depends on the caliber and the weight of the gun, the ratio there, I'd assume. If a machine gun weighs 10 pounds but only produces 8 pounds of recoil when firing, it won't be able to lift itself off the ground. Little, yeah, hey, correct, like what I just said. If the, In the engineering world, the ratio between a craft's thrust and weight is called appropriately thrust-to-weight ratio. Okay, makes sense. If it's less than one, the vehicle cannot lift off. Saturn V had a takeoff thrust-to-weight ratio of about 1.5. So, it could because it was greater than the value of one. Okay. Despite growing up in the South, I'm not really a firearms expert. N not not mutually exclusive. Correlation is not causation. Uh, so, I've answered that. I got in touch with my an acquaintance in Texas, judging by the amount of ammunition they had lying around their house ready to mess your way for me. Texas has apparently become so... Texas has apparently become some kind of Mad Mask X post-apocalyptic war zone. Mate, when is, what is this has become? I was just assuming this is what this is. Asmongold described the KFC near his house. That is some Mad Max shit. <laughs> Saturn V. As it turns out, the AK has a thrust to weight ratio of around two. Oh dear God, no! <laughs> it means that if you stood on an end and somehow tap, uh, that says tapped, uh, that says taped, not tapped. It had the second P needs to be. Why am I peer reviewing this? What the fuck? <laughs> no, please, please do not try this at home. It would, it would rise into the air while fire. Oh dear God. Oh my God. This is why. Uh, this is why I love rednecks because red. I, I, I could go up to a redneck. And I don't mean this derogatorily, right? I could go up to a Marine and or a Redneck and potentially an Engineer. The, the three of those in the same room, dear God. Like, oh my... I, I, so a Redneck, an Engineer, and a Marine walk into a bar. That bar will not be there. Somehow it will be on the moon. I do not mean these derogatorily, of course. In fact, these three specific brands of people, these types of people, I respect a metric fuck ton. Holy shit, th this is gonna go places. More friendly. And also, the uh, pistols upgrade your spin kick so that it's a gun spin kick. So you can kick no! while you're shooting them. And the last upgrade. Halo fighting game one. Well, I don't want to spoil it, but. Mm. That is exactly how, the br how my brain works. Stairs intro. Ah! My only regret here is that I now have to come up with something even stupider for the next cursed Halo. The mod. gun hat. I'm, I'm just not sure if that's possible. Okay. <laughs> this is a perfectly normal Halo pistol no. that reverses all of your controls. It is you mad the best man. weapon in the game by a fairly wide margin, but it's unusable. No. This is the game design equivalent of a brain hemorrhage, and I'm very proud of it. I'm here for this. Okay, so let's actually talk about design for just a bit here. He is T-posing to a certain dominance on us. That is that is the message being relayed. One of my main goals with this update was to expand the amount of content in the campaign. Cursed yeah. Halo was originally just a pack of goofy weapons and not much else, but in this version, I've done my best Look to at add the a hoglets. wide variety of new enemy types and events to the campaign. Some of them are better designed than others. <laughs> For example, here we have the Covenant Craft troops. The grunts have bows, crossbows, and splash potions, and will generally harass you from a distance, while the jackals oh my have God. a diamond sword and shield and will rush you down and stab you. And the elites have a firework crossbow and diamond axe, and they will just bombard you with TNT from a distance. I fine-tuned the AI huh. these enemies pretty well, and I gotta say, the sword and shield jackals are just kind of terrifying. No, that's I animated them horrifying. So they can with their shield tell up in front of them, and it makes them really difficult to hit without an explosive weapon. And for some godforsaken reason, I gave their shields the ricochet property so that projectiles bounce back at you. Here's I love it. Tip though, if you're having a bad time, don't panic. Just spin kick <laughs> out of it. Become the Bruce Lee Another you always wanted to be. A massive redesign in this version of Cursed Halo is the Hunters. Oh. And to put it pretty simply, Drunk Hunter? I made them into a bullet hell. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! I don't like this! My brain. It's brain is not working. <laughs> Hunters have three firing modes now. A giant quad laser beam, okay. a quad laser laser projectile, oh, and a box. laser rapid quad laser lit. Box! Wait, what the fuck did I just say? 
And if you somehow survive all of that, I also gave the hunters a special flying Ooh. spin slide. Amazing! Which makes them the official anime adaptation of Halo's Hunters. I love it. You're welcome, Perfect. Japan. <laughs> now I could talk all day about enemy designs because there's just a ton of new content in this mod. From the magnanimous RGB Special Forces unit I love to them. the humble piss grunt. <laughs> but I don't want to spoil all the surprises that this campaign has to offer. I gotta leave some mystery and intrigue for you guys to discover. Oh, I assure you, someone in chat said stream this. Yes, this will be happening. Like, I've been itching for some Halo content. Holy shit. <laughs> you had me a piss gun. <laughs> like, is that grunt holding a tool gun? Maybe. Are those perfect what? accuracy sniper jackals? No! Maybe. Or am I just trolling? Who knows? <laughs> Alright, so now let's talk about the biggest change in this version of the mod. The, um, Hoglet? Halo Kart Grand Wait. Prix. Oh, no. No! I will actually, I'm actually going to be awful at this. No. <laughs> so, yeah, some of you may remember the Halo Kart multiplayer mod I made a few years back. I tried to port it over to MCC, but yeah. I could not get it working due uh -huh. to some weird technical issues that I'm not going to get into. I believe but I didn't it. really want to scrap the whole thing because right. it's full of quality content. Quality. So I spent like I love two it. weeks developing AI driving. Why is Goku here? And I made it a part of the campaign. I'm curious how hard it would be to port my model as a Blender model and put it into the game. I'm very curious if it's possible. And I know a lot of you may be thinking that Halo 1 already had AI that could drive, but I am here to tell you that is not correct. Oh, Halo really? AI is utterly incapable of driving in a straight line, and it wasn't oh, until fair. Halo 2 that the AI could actually drive a Warthog without wrecking it into a ditch in under 30 seconds. The code I added to make this work is an unbelievable mess, and it pushes the game engine way past Spaghetti! The game, but Spaghetti it does work. And trust it me when I say, work. it is a miracle that it works. So yeah, now you can enjoy this racing game in the middle of your shooter game. Oh, and for anyone who's worried that this is a non-lore-friendly edition, I actually went ahead and added two new cutscenes that give perfectly logical explanations as to why there is a five-race Grand Prix. What are you talking about? This is perfectly lore-friendly. Spartan Ops and Halo 4 was just, what, training simulations? Multiplayer in 5 was just more training simulations? It's it's just Covenant, uh, Covenant Human Joint Ops. <laughs> right in the middle of the Halo campaign. So yeah, uh, it's all good, gamers. Don't worry about it. Firing. Cool, so probably not, she's probably not port my model. Got it. Ah! Got him. Another fun addition to the mod is the new grenade types. Oh no. The new D20 frag grenades have been massively improved. Oh no. They originally had about 40 possible random outcomes, oh, and now no. it's up to over 90. Just about anything is possible when you throw one of these stupid grenades. From a Minecraft chest full of goodies, to a flashbang, to a nuclear detonation. So, I have to be- wait, is this the one I'm thinking of? No! That's- no! <laughs> I will get copyrighted! No! <laughs> the plasma I swore that there was- was was this a meme or was this actual fact? Because I can't tell anymore. The D20 grenade in a video I watched was- he threw it? And it was like Thanos coming out being like, I am inevitable. But I can't tell if it was an O- I can't remember, actually. Um, if it was an edit or if it was actually a feature. <laughs> that was- well, The Thanos one was real, right? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, no, the, uh, oh god, this is gonna be a fucking amazing stream. I can already fucking tell. Boop. <laughs> the plasma- <laughs> Grenade has oh, no. also been reworked to be oh. more chaotic, Stop! And less performance heavy, and overall it just works a lot better than the old version. It just works. Next we have the TNT block grenade, which is primarily what? dropped by the Covenant Craft troops, oh. and works pretty much like Though you should be aware they are very temperamental, and if you shoot one yeah. or accidentally hit one with another grenade, it will probably kill you. But that's actually genius coding, because like in Halo 3 and stuff, right? You could shoot a grenade on the ground and it would explode. This is genius. And the final grenade type in this mod is the throwable warthog, which <laughs> sure is. Well, speaking of tiny warthogs, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about the library. Yes. This is a level that pretty much no one likes. It's Chat, are you about to be angry at me? Because you're about to be angry at me. I unironically like the library as a level. It is one of the only two levels in CE that I have done that I've done on Legendary Solo. I have not done the CE on... I actually didn't even beat Halo CE until 2019. Because I 
didn't really have it and, you know, was already playing, like, Halo 3 and stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> as I've read, I've read through the library as well. I've read the books. I, 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 or the books of the time, right? I know what happens. Um, but, like, the first mission and the sixth mission, the library, are the only two levels I've done on Legendary. I cannot do any other levels on Legendary. I am just, in, I do not have the skill level. It's just a dozen or so hallways filled with flood, and then more flood at the end, with some flood in between. <laughs> so I redesigned it a bit, and made it into a cooperative driving level. <laughs> oh. The idea is real simple. I Instead like this, of actually. Way through hordes of flood stuff, You're racing us! You and your best buddy, Sergeant Johnson, just splatter your way through to the end in style. And this change I like it. makes the level about half as long, but twice as enjoyable. Yeah! Most of that enjoyment is, of course, thanks to Vocal Butcher, who voiced over 300 new lines for Sergeant Johnson. Amazing. And, of course, I also spent quite a bit of time integrating Johnson into the level so that he is able to see and hear what is going on and respond with the appropriate level of self-referential yeah. Like, so here's the thing. As someone that works Q QA effectively now, right? I, I test games for a living. I have been vocal. I cannot tell you what I'm testing. I'm his, I, I can technically say who I'm working for, but I'm not representing them. Not, anyways, moving on. As someone that understands, like, QA to an end degree, and he's just like, oh yeah, no, I just put Johnson in here and, you know, made him do XYZ and that he's able to interact with the environment and see what's going on. Me, oh dear God, that's a lot of work. <laughs> Dialogue. You brought such ineffective weapons to combat the flood, despite the containment protocols. Yeah, no, this, yeah. Boot up this functions. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I made the library kind of fun, and that is an accomplishment. Oh, and also, Ye one more little thing about this level. <laughs> yeah? I may have added a math quiz to the end. Oh. No. No. No, Inferno, no. You don't know what you're doing here. No. No. <laughs> Kip is actually gonna have a fucking Gargura moment. <laughs> What's six times seven? No. Definitely not 13. That's not how that works. Well, 6 times 5 is 30 times 2, so 42? Question mark. Question 1. What is 6 times 7? And you have to while fighting the horde! Yes! And speaking of questionable design decisions, near the end of Halo 1's campaign, yeah. Master Chief steals a Banshee from a Covenant Wait. cruiser and flies it over a desert to... Guys, it's not a flappy Banshee this time. Oh dear God, what has he done to the Banshee? ...get to the crash site of the Pillar of Autumn. In yeah. this mod, however, Chief instead steals a Warthog and then he drives it to the crash site through the desert. Yes! ...that I also just randomly decided to make a lot bigger. What a weird series of coincidences. I love I, it. Mm, yeah. Big. All right, guys, check this out. This is a salt rifle. A what? It's gonna fire. No! No! <laughs> your complaints in the comments below. You know what? Infinite, when are you putting this in? I want this in infinite. Like, straight the fuck up. I'm not even kidding at this point. If salt rifle comes into infinite, I will play it again. Jokey aside, though, this is a really questionable gun. It's a beam weapon that deals very low damage, but has a random chance to cause a super suck event. Suck? No! <laughs> uh, I don't know why I made this. Suck! In the original Cursed Halo, I never really touched the Sentinels. Team I just didn't know what to do with them at the time, and kind of just left them alone. Just give them uwu faces and call it done. Alone. But, with the wonders of modern computing, I have finally made a momentous breakthrough in comedy technology. Oh no. They now say pew when they shoot. Yes! Yes! Oh, and also, Aperture Laboratory sent me over some prototype sensors stop. that are pretty interesting. You don't, you, you stop, you don't know what you're doing! Goodbye. They even have a small chance to drop an AR2 if you kill them. I don't think you. Oh. 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 Okay, so you see the joke is that I could have imported the model for the actual AR2 from Half-Life, but instead of doing that, I just copy-pasted the Halo Assault Rifle model and renamed it to Assault Rifle 2. So it's, so it's an AR2. Amazing. Please post your laughter in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> Another big improvement I made in this version of the mod is I've reworked and expanded all of the Minecraft items. The mod now has a much wider variety of weapons, including some neat little enchanted variants, and there's like a dozen different Minecraft potions now as well, which includes both drinkable potions and throwable splash potions. Oh no. And the best part is, they all just show up as unidentified potion. Oh no. So you guys have no idea what any of them do. 
So hear me out. If this supports multiplayer, here's what you do. Because clearly you can consume the potions. Before the encounter, you and your four squad mates... If, I, don't know if, I don't know if there's mod... Is there a mod for MCC yet that allows 16-player campaign lobbies? I don't think there is yet. But I'd be very interested if there was. Um, you have everybody take a swig of the potion. And then you go into the encounter and see what happens. <laughs> Classic. I Everybody, pop your drinks. We don't know what's in them. We're going in, though. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you. You just have to test them out and it's happening. try and remember what they do based on what color they are. Poison, and while it's that happening. Is fairly sadistic game design, Bat? it is far from the meanest Bat. thing I've added to this Wait. Mod. Stop it. Stop it. No. Guys, I can't escape Dark Souls. Stop it. No. 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 <laughs> I thought I left Anne Orlando a long time ago. God damn it! I'm still I'm still getting invaded by Aldrich Faithful. <laughs> As a former Aldrich Faithful. <laughs> Another addition that I spent a fair amount of time on was mm, tool guns. Gun. There are now a dozen or so different tool guns in the mod that each have a unique function. Some of them are useful. Box. Some of them are chaotic. Box. And some of them are. I love it. Um, Crash? Personally, my favorite one is the pull tool gun. It combos really well with a diamond axe that has the <laughs> back and Oh, and of course, honorable mention to the thruster tool gun, it's just an absolute treasure as well. What? Oh! Co guys, combat has truly evolved. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. There's honorable mention to the thruster tool gun, it's just an absolute treasure as well. WE HAVE THE TECHNOLOGY! <laughs> but my overall favorite addition to the mod still might be the really big pistol that I showed at the start. So I feel like this is- this is- uh, uh, this is ironically a play on D Destiny 2's, uh, Forerunner, the Magnum Pistol from Halo Destiny 2, right? How bi- how, uh, Banshee says, like, I don't know if this is the world's biggest handgun or the world's smallest rifle, but here... That's this. <laughs> it was obviously inspired by an old hyper video, which a lot of people are familiar with, and yeah, it's just I love it. super satisfying. I, I even love set it. up custom impacts so that when you hit like a grunt or something, it just vaporizes them and sprays Ooh. blood all over the walls around it. I want it's like it. modern art, but kinda actually though. The ATF would like to know your location. <laughs> and with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last little subject here, which is the multiplayer. What? Cursed Halo version oh, no. one had a set of multiplayer maps that were interesting oh no but cursed halo version 2 did not have those multiplayer maps can you play the ring you can actually play the ring question mark because i could not be asked to actually update them this new version also doesn't have multiplayer maps yet yet i'm leaving Fair. it up to you guys to make that happen i'm setting you all a challenge chat bring my bring my notepad to work tomorrow <laughs> we're gonna make this happen we're going- we have to make a submission for, uh, Iron Pi- I almost said Iron Pineapple, fuck, I'm so sorry. Uh, Inferno Plus. We have to make an submission. If this video can get one like, we will do a follow-up video. Done. Take my like. Yeah, with Curse Halo <laughs> multiplayer expansion. <laughs> if you want to play the mod, there's a link in the description. If you haven't seen the videos for Cursed Halo version 1 and 2, then check them out, they're on the screen. And if you're a patron, then you can find your name here on the Jumbotron that I had to use guys! to pay texture. Guys! Guys! I saw it! And if you're a patron... Guys, do you see you it? Find your name here on the Jumbotron. Guys, it's the Amogus! <laughs> <laughs> it's a running gag at this point that Kip cannot escape Amogus. Because after you see the Amogus in the IRS logo, you will never, you will never stop seeing Amogus. <laughs> Jumbotron that I had to use an 8K texture for because That's goddamn amazing. And also, actually. no sponsor for this video because this isn't about the money. It's about sending a message. You damn straight it is. And that wraps this up. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a tasty brunch. All right, chat. Tonight I I will be. I need I need. We're we're gonna have ideas. <laughs> this is this is happening. This is the the, the the Amogus is becoming a fourth inevitability at this point. Yes. You know what? Inferno Plus, consider it done. From a smaller content creator, we're making this happen. We're going to be making a Forge submission for this. I will just have to get into CE and start designing it. We will make this fucking happen.